Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm Dern the Hermit, and we are playing more Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl with the Starter Pack 2017 mod. I am uh, just wanted to point out that uh, I remembered to uh, activate my uh, anti-aliasing in the NVIDIA control panel. I have it set to 4x. And my uh, frames per second counter is showing a few dips below 60 frames per second, getting down to like 54, 55. And I'm not feeling it in my gameplay. I'm not really noticing it. Uh, some games I, I notice something like that more than others. But uh, if, I, uh, if I see it, if it becomes a problem I'm doing like combat or something, and I'll probably uh, turn it off or turn it down to 2x or something like that. But uh, it seems like it's running smooth right now. Um, you know, we've gone through the rookie camp. Let's see what we're going to do today. Here we're still down in Cordon. We have already done the first mission where we attacked the car park. I had a very embarrassing death. I got shotgunned in the face. It was really funny. But uh, then I went and did a few side missions around, looted a few stashes. And today what I'm going to do is, I think I am going to murder the gentleman here at the uh, railroad embankment. Sort of a, tr a stalker tradition of mine to just kill this, these military. And um, you don't have to. You can just uh, pay them to, to cross the, uh, the military embankment. And uh, just get back and forth that way. But um, I like loot. And they show up as red on my radar. So, well, I mean... Kind of feel it's like a moral imperative. So I'm gonna do a quick save here before I start. I may die a couple times. I may not. Um, my primary fo focus is on uh, having a lot of fun, which means sometimes I may not do the best. Pull back a little bit here. We'll sprint around this way. And they are going to lose sight of me and eventually focus exclusively on where I was. Now what I should have done, and uh, if this doesn't go well, I may actually reload and go back and do it. What I should have done is gotten a bunch of uh, armor piercing rounds for my little pistol here. Instead, what I think I'm going to do now is. Uh, Focus on using my double barrel shotgun to take them out. Because shotgun shells are cheap. Let's come around over here. Most of them have probably already changed positions to move forward and advance on where I was. Uh -huh. They have not. That one over there, at least, still is not aggroed. A total of five on the map. I'm going to try something risky. This could uh, easily get me killed, but I'm going to pull up in here and try to take them out from above. So one soldier over there. Oh, yep. They were they were going to get me. Yeah, hit over there. Oh, they're coming up behind me. Oh, pull my shotgun. Med kit. Shotgun you in the face. Oh, that fence isn't letting me shoot through. I'm gonna come around this way and get you, buddy. How'd he get out of there? That's unfair. That's unfair, hacks. It's all right. Grenade this guy. Nope, missed. Alright, let's let these fellows come around here. Shotgun you in the face.
Come on, buddy. I believe that is also now bandits down there that have come and joined the fun. It's kind of a sloppy assault on the uh, military, but there's bandits joining in. Oh, and my pistol is out of rounds. You got to be more careful, stalker. I'm going to come around here and loot some of the military bodies. And I'm going to come back up here. There we go. Now I've got a proper assault rifle. And uh, I'm going to set it to uh, shoot one semi auto. Alright, let's see what we can do with these bandits now. There we go. Nice. There's one more. Is there one more? I could have sworn there was one more. Well, my radar doesn't show any more contacts. I'm going to call that a successful attack. Not the, not the best, but really. I was going up against military guys with a, a sawn-off double barrel shotgun. <laughs> Let's see. Let's make sure. oh, man. Yep, one more AK. And I got a few more fellows over here to loot. Oh, I already looted him. Uh, and there was uh, one more. I see one more body on my radar there. Where did he go? There he is. And he gave me stash coordinates as well. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your death. Anything from him, anything from him. And look at that, I've got a assault rifle. A humble assault rifle, to be sure, but uh, it's, a, it's an assault rifle nonetheless. And uh, better for this, this sort of behavior than a mere shotgun. Oh yeah, and we have Kuznetsov over here. Poor Kuznetsov, but he gives me a quest pistol, so I am taking that. And let's take one more look around over here. There's random items to be had. And we got the vodka here in the chest. And let's see. I'm really curious what happened with that second bandit. I could have sworn there were two. But uh, he may have just continued back off to whatever little misadventure he was doing. Alright, so it looks like I've gotten everything here. So what I'm going to do now is finish unloading these. Get every last bullet I can. Unload that. Looks like it's my first uh, 9 by 19 millimeter ammo. Good to see. Let's take this all back and we're going to sell it all to Sid Orovich. Good old Sid. really curious about that second bandit, but I'm, I'm certain I will encounter him sooner or later. It's not like there's any shortage of bandits in this game, as you will soon come to find out. Okay, so this, I can load, ah, no, nah, I'm going to hold on to it. Later on, as I get more and more gear, uh, weight will become a greater concern of mine, and I'll just stop carrying a pistol entirely. Uh, my stamina is low. I hear dogs barking. I may want my double barrel for this. No. There we go. Inventory in this game is not the most responsive in the world, but uh, it will. Uh, it'll, you gotta have a little patience with it as you're playing with it. I like it, I'm used to it, but stuff like unloading weapons, it 
always t seems to take a, an extra quarter second or sixth of a second that it really shouldn't to, you know, right click and uh, unload ammo or what have you. Let's see, I'm back here in town. Oh, and look at that. There is a... There's a quest I need to turn in, and there is a stash that has been placed right here. Let's turn in this quest. I believe I did that last game, just forgot to turn it in. I'm here for the job. And he gave me a stone blood. No more jobs? Alright. That's fair. Alright. And this stash is right over here. Bunch of med kits and bandages. Good, because I'd used a ton of bandages. And <laughs> armor piercing rounds for my 9x18mm pistol. Let's see, see if there's any other stashes in the southern half. There is not. There's one over here. That's one of the out in the open stashes. There's another one up here. And uh, now that I've killed the military at the cordon, now I want to kill the bandits up here at the very north of, uh, of, of, of the map. First, I'm going to go sell some stuff to Sidorovich. Let's go, let's go. Can't wait to get my endurance artifacts and I could sprint like this almost all the time. Got anything valuable? Do I ever? First off. Alright. No new jobs for me yet. So did I not make myself clear? I need real stuff. Chill, Sid. I just wanna figure out which one of these I wanna keep. Alright, cool. So one of these is loaded. I'm gonna unload it. Maybe it's this one. It is this one. Cool, I'll sell all the other ones. Alright. Which one of these is the heaviest? That one. So I'll sell all the other ones. You can tell it's the heaviest because it's got a little more weight than these guys due to the ammo that has already been loaded in. These can all go. And uh I don't need that. I can grab a couple anti rads. Oh, they're so cheap. Why not? And uh trade. Not bad. Some pretty good stuff you've got there. I'm good on med kits. I'm good on bandages. I'm sure I'll be getting more. I can buy more energy drinks. And any other food? Oh, I got tons of food items. Those are little health buffs. Uh, and, uh, since I have plenty of med kits, and since med kits tend to weigh less and provide just more health, uh, it's just better to have med, med kits and food. Not bad. Um, Some pretty good although I think there is a hunger mechanic in vanilla game. Or maybe Zone Reclamation Project adds one in. I'm not, I don't remember. Let's see. Alright. So I will drop this off, because, again, I'm storing all... I'm hoarding all my artifacts. And, uh... I'll hold on to this. That's a quest item. It might be a quest item for later on, so I'll stash it. I don't need all this. Honestly... I don't even really need any of my pistol rounds, but whatever. I'm not even. I'm just over half full. Good hunting, Stalker. Oh, one more item. I had been lucky enough to find a silencer for my assault rifle. Oh wait, no, they can't go on the 74U. I forgot. You gotta wait till I get a proper AK, uh, AK 74. Okay, then in that case, I will. Grab some more shotgun rounds and some more ammo. Whatever, I'll grab it all. And some more assault rifle ammo. And now we are heading north to go murder some bandits. I love murdering bandits. They are such murderable little bandits. Here I'll be going through... Uh... Hello, boar. We're going through an anomaly field, so I'll uh, get a little slow. With the light dim like this, it's a little easier to see the anomalies pop up. Hi, doggies. Ah, I gotcha. No loot, but that's okay. Shotgun ammo is cheap, and there will be plenty of mutants to destroy. The northern half of the zone is even more mutants. And you can tell that the boars and the dogs over there are fighting. Uh, they were not there right at the beginning of the game when I when I was dinking around over in that part. Um, it, it takes them a little, it takes the boars a little while to migrate in and become a uh, become a threat. All right, I'm passing by all the military. 
Making one last double check, making sure I didn't miss anything. Or the box I could destroy. With nothing in it. Here we go. Northern half of the zone. Oh, and there's bandits right here. And they have not spotted me. Aim a little higher on their bodies, Dern. Well, sweet. I already got to kill some bandits. I'm super happy about that. More loot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stash these over here for right now. So after I kill the bandits up north, there's going to be plenty of loot there. And uh, let's first unload. Oh, that one came with a silencer. Neat. More 9mm ammo. I don't need it yet. And, uh, oh, nice. Excellent. Let's do it to it. Maybe that's what happened to that second bandit. Met up with a third bandit and, uh, eventually forgot all about me. Normally there to my left. That's a flesh I killed earlier. I cleared out the farm. Oh, and uh, there was a stash out this way. I will go get that first. I know it's a big time detour, but, uh, whoa, almost ran right into an anomaly. Gotta have those reflexes here in the zone. You never know when a just sudden, physically impossible death will manifest and make your day a living hell. Is that a dog there? Oh, I missed that second shot. That's alright, dogs can follow me here. Get up here on the log, and dogs can't do nothing. Come on, doggy. Oh, hello. Oh! Pseudo dogs, on the other hand, are a much greater threat. So it looks like we're gonna pull the shotgun shuffle maneuver here. Come on, Mr. Pseudo Dog. Maybe they'll give me another pseudo dog tail. Who knows? He did not. Gotta watch the railroad embankment. It's also heavily radioactive. Oh. Taking out these mutants. Having some fun. Tails. More tails. More tails. Not that they're very important right now. <laughs> that pseudo dog jumping up at, at me was hilarious. I love that. There we go. That outdoor stash. Let's see here. All right. Looks like we've got just about everything. There's one more stash to get on my way up there. Run in between these anomalies here. Are there any artifacts out and around here? There's plenty of anomalies. Just want to check if there's any artifacts that have spawned. Might be able to see them. I know it's pretty dark, and I apologize. It's gonna be even worse when it's nighttime. I might bump up the gamma if I look back, and uh, this video turns out to be a little on the dim side. But uh, plenty of anomalies out there, but I don't see any artifacts that have spawned. They may have, they may spawn later, or they may have simply rolled somewhere where I can't quite see them yet. All right, Fox is still here. He's still alive and doing good. Let's see how you're doing, pal. How's how's things? Go somewhere else? Oh, he wants me to go away. You can tell him about the zone. Nah, you can read that on your own if you like. Go back and pause the video. Alright. Alright, so my weight is 30 of 50. I just gotta go north and kill the bandits there at the, the, the level changer. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, call it an episode here. Alright, we got plenty of time. Uh, I'm, oops. I am going to uh, continue on north. 
<laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to take out these uh, these bandits up here. Now there's a lot of dogs and pseudo dogs. So what I'm going to do is uh, stick exclusively to the path for most of this distance. And I may just simply bypass most of them. Oh. There is a stash here. And this is actually the truck, supposedly, that Strelik came out of at the beginning of the game. There's a stash right in here. It's heavily radioactive. Let's get the stash and pull back. And have an anti-rad really quick. There, that wasn't too much damage, was it? Got a couple of uh, army medkits, too. Those are really, really handy. All right, let's continue on our way. No, this is really, really dark. I may boost. Uh, I may boost things up later on if uh, if it becomes necessary. Just gotta admit, it's really cool. Ah, he already saw me. One down. There's only one more to go. Well, let's keep that lightning going a little more than that. Is this bandits or military? Bandits, that's what I thought. Some mods replaced the bandits with military. Ah, he went back there, he is cornered, he is mined. Goodbye, Bandit. Nice knowing you. Thank you for the loot and the stash location. Stash in the garbage, however. That was actually easier than I thought. Usually there's a... Uh, most of my playthroughs, there's generally more like four or five guys. Alright, I got another stash location. Cool. Now look at, look at where these stashes came from. Alright. So I'm here up north. Next map is the garbage. Uh, one way up there at the top. Nothing over here in Agripom. There was one over here in uh, Dark Valley. And there was one further down south. I'll get that on my return. Alright. Now there is a uh, couple things here to loot before I head on back south. Sell off these few items that I got to sit. Nothing. And nothing. Alright. And there is one last secret. No, wait. There's boxes around the corner here. I generally get something up here. Nope. But there is one secret that it requires a bit of jumping. I forget exactly the best way to uh, approach this thing. No, wait. I'm going about it all wrong. Climb up in here. And there's a little stash box here that you can use if you want. Get over here onto the fence. I'm going to quick save because doing this is kind of a pain in the butt. Stalker has some uh, funny jumping physics. There we go. Get on over here. Loop around the compound. We can't fall off to the right because of invisible walls, but we can uh, stay uh, stay on here tight enough to come around over here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Jump up on here. Nothing there, but uh, what's that over there on that ledge? Hmm. Let's circle around. And we got some ammo. And I think I already picked it up. And there was indeed a pistol. Wait, no, I got that from the bandit. Did I get it? It's supposed to be a... Uh, oh! Huh. That's a weird glitch. <laughs> the Walther P99 pistol. Looks like a flash and a soul artifact. 
<laughs> that's all right. I'm not going to use Walther P99 pistols. But that's a funny glitch. That's awesome. Okay. All right, one last thing up in here before I head back down south to Sid. I'm going to come up in here. Another tricky jump. Ah, uh, that's bad. There we go. Like this. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Alright. That, that looks like it does me good. For, uh... This part. I'm going to head back south. I'm going to uh, sell some things to Sid. Check my time. I still have plenty of time. I'll finish off the the inventory management part of the game, and uh, then I'll call that an episode. And the next episode, we can begin progressing further and further north. And there's still some things to do here down here in Corden. Check the time. Oh, it's uh, it's early. See, the last thing I want to do before I leave is uh, wait till after midnight. And zone reclamation project apparently, I guess. Uh, it starts the game earlier in the day, like really early morning, if you recall the very first episode, it's really early morning, and uh, vanilla game, I think, starts a little more closer to noon or afternoon or something like that, so usually by the time I'm at this point in uh, my early Corden playthrough uh, chores, I've usually managed, oop, there's some loot here to get, I've usually managed to... Um, Get, it, get the clock late enough so that the artifacts around the Electro anomaly, ha anomaly have appeared. And uh, that unfortunately has not happened. So I think Zone Reclamation Project has a sleep option. Here we go. Oh, bloodsucker, no bloodsucker, no bloodsucker. Later in the game there will be bloodsuckers that appear here. And sometimes he spawns inside, sometimes he's outside the building. Oh my goodness. So much more loot. You can see by uh, really going after those stash locations you get from killing enemies, you can really find some nice stuff. But it also means you need to kill a lot of enemies to get a lot of stash locations. And, well, I mean, that's, that's how you progress in terms of inventory. That's how you uh, get the good stuff. I'll have one more energy drink. Buy a few more from Sid. I've made enough money to make it worthwhile. Oh, Sid. And after, I've, I wonder if he will start having uh, assault rifles in his inventory now, now that I actually have one. All right. Oops, I didn't want to unload that guy. I'll reload it again. It'd be terrible to have to uh, suddenly switch to my assault rifle and then reload the thing. Oops, caught in a tree. Not paying attention to where I'm going. Pay attention, darn. I love these. Unload these. It gets me a few extra bucks to sell the ammo separately. Oh, there they are. It's a brand new pistol. Yeah, they don't like me waving my pistol around. You know what, guys? Get over it. I'm a good guy. I'm on your team. All right, here we are back at Sid's bunker. Didn't want to drink one more energy drink just for this amount of running. Ah, back into safety. Hi, Sid. Got anything valuable? I do, buddy. I do. Have you found any jobs yet? No. Let's just trade. Uh, do I even want to keep a submachine gun? I mean, I got a decent amount of 9x19. They can use a silencer, unlike this. It's just significantly weaker. Mm, it's more damage. So it'll jam more. Ah, whatever. Let's just sell it. I mean, in no time at all, I'm going to be replacing all of it. You know, I'm going to sell all my regular 9 by 18 because I got so much of the armor piercing. Um, I'll sell this glitched Walther because no, just no. <laughs> There we go. I'm already at 1,600, 16,000 rubles. And of course, proper equipment is many tens of thousands of rubles, but still, it's a healthy way to start the early game. Not bad. Uh, Some pretty good stuff you've got there. 
buy one more of these. He still doesn't sell any assault rifle ammo, but I have plenty of that. I can sell these. Trade. Pretty good stuff you've got there. Not bad. Some pretty good, 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 good stuff. All right. Well, drop by if you get any more. Sure thing, Sid. All right. Dog tails. All right. All right. So I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you so much for joining me. I will be picking up again next time. We'll be making our first foray into the garbage, and uh, further north into uh, parts of the zone beyond. Thank you for joining me. I'm Darren the Herbert, and uh, you have a great day.